Hello, everyone. Welcome to Verbling. Hi there, hi there, hi there, hi there, hi there. Hi, I'm Teacher Oakley, and we are going to have a little bit of fun for the next hour. We're going to play an English-speaking game, the odd one out game, or which one of these things doesn't belong. Actually, this game, first time I saw this game was on Sesame Street in preschool. Uh, <laughs> there's a little song. I still remember it from when I was six years old. Which one of these things is not like the other? Which one of these things doesn't belong? Can you tell me which one is not like the other? Tell me before I finish my song. Da -da. Thank you, Sesame Street, my early childhood education. Okay, the idea is you're going to have four English words. All right, they may seem to all have something in common. They may seem to all be a group even. Your job as a contestant, as a player, is to decide which one of these words does not belong to the group. And, of course, you're going to have to use your English-speaking skills to explain why you think so. So a little reasoning, a little uh, practice giving opinion, and supporting reasons. But it's quite simple, and as I just said, I first learned this game when I was in preschool, just learning English. So this game would be perfectly, uh, perfectly acceptable for, the, for a beginner, as well as an extremely advanced English speaker because then you're going to be practicing more of your analytical vocabulary and a, a beginner can practice very simple English and uh, giving an explanation in English so uh, frankly for this class your English level doesn't really matter at all uh, it's kind of fun and interesting now, what, ha what should happen, hopefully, if I get some students in the class, um, you'll all have your reasons why you think one is different. Whoever has the most unique best reason uh, will get a point. And we'll see who's the big winner at the end. Hello, Anastasia. How are you? Uh, hi, Oakley. So it's my time. Oh, Ro uh, Roxana time. Okay. Yes. Good. I'm glad. Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, as I was just saying, a great, great uh, little game to play with many levels. Okay. It would really be good if we had another student at least. <laughs> But <laughs> <laughs> it's no problem. We we play together. <laughs> we can play together. We can actually, sure. Um, actually, you're right. We can. This game can be played with a minimum two up to two million. It doesn't matter how many. Oh, okay. I bring my daughter if you if you want <laughs> one more. <laughs> no, it's I, okay. I hope. Yeah, I hope uh, today electricity is good because uh, oh, yesterday yeah. it's uh, my daughter upset because she's sitting and electricity it's uh, yeah no no work I don't know what's the problem yeah sometimes I know it's happened uh, sometimes it's happened in Kazakhstan it's close electricity maybe for one hour or something else sorry yeah. what sorry what about game. Oh, it's okay. We'll start in a minute. That's okay. We can chat for a moment while we wait for another player. Uh, yeah, that happens in... I can totally understand it happens in the Philippines, too. Although, also? Oh, yeah. Every, the power goes out. And sometimes, sometimes it's quite evident because there's a typhoon or a bad storm. Um, and sometimes there's no reason whatsoever. It's just a beautiful, nice, sunny day. <laughs> power goes out. <laughs> I, I don't, yeah. But uh, fortunately, it has not happened for months now. Quite a long time since the power's gone out, so you know, I always keep my fingers crossed. Um, 
Okay, let's you know so viewers can see what we're doing here. Let's let's start our game. I'm gonna do uh, a screen share with you. you. Again, the object is I'm gonna show you four words, and you have to decide uh, which which word is different and why is the idea. So here's our first four words. Okay. We have novel, newspaper, magazine, and radio broadcast. Novel, newspaper, magazine, and radio broadcast. Okay. Uh, this for me question or sorry? Sure. I, I'm, well, I could say hello to Mustafa. Hello, uh -huh. Mustafa. Hello, I can barely hear you. I can hear you, but barely. It's very low. Hello, you can hear me now? A little better. A little better, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, actually, and uh, uh, actually, Roxana, this question is for all of us. I want to play, too, of course. Um, but, uh, Roxana, I guess ladies first. You can go first. Which of these words is different, and what is your reasoning? Novel, newspaper, magazine, or radio broadcast? Uh, it's my opinion. I think radio, radio what? Broadcast. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Wh why do you say so? Uh, because uh, newspaper, magazine, uh, and novel, there's some for re reading. Uh, radio broadcast, I think, for uh, listening. Okay, very good, very logical. All right, Mustafa, what yes. do you think? Which, which word, and now the idea of this game is actually to figure out the most unique, uh, unique difference. All right, so we have four English words, novel, magazine, newspaper, and radio broadcast. Which of these words is doesn't belong in the group? Do you think? And and why? Novel again. Novel and magazine. And New, what? Newspaper. Uh, and so, uh, so, sorry, Oakley, Can you radio. put in the verbling this for reading? Because it's no. We we cannot to see. Mm -hmm. Be, because we forget sometimes what the word. You say we need to read. Sure. Uh, okay, novel, newspaper, magazine, and the last radio broadcast. Okay. There they are. I put them in the chat box there for you, Mustafa. And hello, Ruben. Greetings. Welcome to the class. Hi. Hi, uh, Ruben, you'll have your chance in just a second. I'll get right to you. Mustafa, what do you think? Uh, I think uh, radio broadcast is a different uh, because a novel and newspapers and magazine are uh, right, uh, is uh, written. Uh, but uh, radio magazine radio broadcast is uh, audible. Okay, very good. All right, good explanation. And actually the same reasoning <laughs> as Roxana. Remember, you score yes, a point. She my mind. If you have the most, the idea is to have the most unique reasons why you choose one of the four items to be removed from the group. Ruben, what do you think? Which word does not belong in the group novel newspaper magazine radio broadcast I think radio broadcast and why what is your reason because the other one uh, we can read the other one but the the radio we we can't Okay. All right. You guys have all said it in a different way, but you've all said the same thing. 
Okay, so you're making this extremely easy yeah. for me to win the first you round. Can say something else. Oh, you can say anything else. For example, yeah. I might pick novel because you get news from a newspaper, a magazine, or a radio broadcast. I might <laughs> say radio broadcast because novel, newspaper, and magazine are one word. Radio broadcast is two words. Boop. So your reasons can be woohoo, anything, really. Uh, you, your, your, your reasons were all very valid, but the idea is to have the most unique and special uh, difference in the group. Okay, we'll, we'll call that, I'll tell you what, guys, we'll call that a practice round. Let's uh, try a, another round here. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, let's try, uh, okay, all right, we'll see here, let's, let's try this one, Whoop, hang on, <laughs> all right, we'll try this one, how about this simple list here, cat? Dog, turtle, elephant, cat, dog, turtle, Angel. elephant. Yes. Mustafa, I'm going to let you go first this time. Okay. Hmm. Which one does not belong in the group and why? Cat, yeah. dog, turtle, or elephant. Uh, turtle. Turtle. Okay. Yeah. Why? Uh, I know, but uh, I can't remember the the word. The, the word a turtle. Uh, Mm. Uh, something that uh, I, I, I might know what you're thinking, but give me a clue. I can help you with vocabulary, but yeah, uh, uh, we see uh, the turtles is uh, walk uh, nearer the, the land. Uh, uh, no, uh, I will not. I can't. A turtle. And yeah, I can't. Uh, can uh, walk uh, on land and uh, in the sea, and uh, also uh, it is uh, be belong to the category uh, category of animals. Yeah, cat uh -huh. and elephants. And uh, cat and dogs uh, category and the turtle another ca category, but I can't remember the turtle category. Well, let me help you out. A cat, a dog, and an elephant are mammals. Mammals, yes. Right. While a turtle is a, I think a turtle is a reptile, right? Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Very good. Oh, okay. Very good, Mustafa. All right. So, two reasons. One, uh, the other three are land animals. A turtle can go in the on the land or the ocean. And a second reason that, uh, in fact, turtles are reptile and all the others are mammals. Very good. Okay. Ruben, what do you think? I think um, the Elephant is different in that groups. Okay, why? Because um, pet dog, um, sorry, cat dog and turtle, we can mm. take them uh, like pet. Uh, okay. But I, uh, elephant, we can't. What? You've never had a pet elephant? No. Okay. All right. No. No. Okay. <laughs> 
Well, yeah, you stole. Elephants are good. <laughs> <laughs> elephants are good. <laughs> You stole my idea, Ruben, but that's a good uh, that's a good one. But that's exactly what I was thinking. All right, you you can say it like this: you can have a cat, a dog, or turtle as a house pet, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> but probably not an elephant, unless you have a very very big house. India use uh, <laughs> India as a India yeah. India yeah. use elephant as a bit. <laughs> Well, okay, they there are domesticated elephants. That's true. Domesticated, but uh, you know, you can all, you can say that domesticated means that they they uh, man, humans use them for what, like uh, pigs or chickens or cow, whatever. The, uh, humans control them, but we can fix that actually by saying by using the English word house pet. <laughs> then it's hard to argue. <laughs> hard to put an elephant in your house. And who wants to clean up the mess, really? <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Roxana, what's your what's your idea? Uh, my idea, I agree with uh, Mustafa. Uh, mm -hmm. Cat, dog, and elephant is... Um, are mammals, but okay. turtle, uh, reptile. But uh, in Kazakhstan, some turtle live in the desert, uh, mm -hmm. not only in the ocean. This oh. reason only. Uh, uh, yes, you, you didn't see never uh, oh, some no, no, uh, I, turtle I who, who, who live in the desert? That's true. I know that's true. Uh, so you're both agreeing and disagreeing. With Mustafa. <laughs> okay. Very, very good. One reason I agree, reptile, because uh, yes. turtle is reptile. The, a turtle is a reptile. You have to use the, when you're He's describing. a reptile. Yeah, you are a woman, I am a man. So we have to use uh, the verb to be, are, am, is. And we have to use, since we're speaking in general and it's countable, we have to use an article, A. It is a reptile. Okay. All right, but you disagree. Yeah, most turtles that live in the desert, I could be wrong about this. I'm not really a zoologist, just so you know. But I think we call them a tortoise when uh, they're a... Tortoise is different. Well, no, Tortle I mean... Or turtles. <laughs> You know, they're basically the same thing, right? But I think the ones that live on land are called tortoises. I think. Oh. Could be wrong. Okay. Well, I have a different reason. So there. I'm going to pick dog. Can anyone figure out why I might say dog? I might say dog for two reasons, actually. Nobody knows. Okay, dog uh, one. Uh, what, Mustafa? Dog can use uh, us. Uh, who can help us to uh, to be as a guard? Yeah, <laughs> as a guard. Uh, Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. I didn't, no, I didn't think yeah. of that. A guard turtle. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Dog, dog, dog. 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 Yeah, I know. Dog. dog. I, dog. I just be, he's a can yeah. be a guard. Ooh, that's a good one. I didn't even think of that. I was going to say because a dog is man's best friend. Well, no, that doesn't make sense. Elephants actually take commands. I was going to say something yeah. similar, but it doesn't make sense when I think about it. Because and you can say elephant uh, have a big place uh, to save uh, to save him, but mm -hmm. uh, dog and cat and turtle uh, have a little uh, place to uh, to save him to save uh, them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, I picked dog because you know why? Because cat, turtle, and elephant all have a T. Ah! Oh, <laughs> they have the letter T. Cat, t turtle, cat. elephant. Yeah. No T in dog. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... You know, it, it doesn't matter as long as it's unique. Uh, I don't know who won that round, really. Who? I I don't know. I can't really judge who won that round. There was, we all had some pretty good answers. 
I don't know. I, no winner. Nobody's nobody's getting any points here. I, I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. Let's try this one. Uh, all right. Okay. Whoops. Okay, next one. Let's try another animal one. Um, human, dolphin, shark, whale. Human, dolphin, shark, whale. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Ruben. Guess what? You're you're up first. Human, dolphin, shark, whale. Um. I think uh, human because the the other three can can live under the water. Okay. All right. G okay. They can live under the water, or they live. I can say they live primarily in the water. Yeah. Mostly. Well, they and they live in the water, really. Okay. E either way. All right. Okay. Uh, Ro uh, Roxana, what do you think? Uh, this very tricky game. Now I think maybe some uh, something <laughs> something different. This very easy to say dolphin, shark, and whale, uh, uh -huh. different human. But right. I think it's it's your game. It's uh, it's so tricky. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I don't have any idea. <laughs> I I look I I look maybe for first yeah for f first uh, if you see these words a dolphin shark and whale uh, different than human. Yes. But, um, At first glance. But I need. To, we have but to think I need to, deeper. Yeah. But I yes, we need to think deeper. Mhm. Mm exactly. Uh, okay. I, I hear somebody else. Well, I listen to somebody else. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe. Pass. Okay. Mustafa, what do you think? Mustafa? Uh, <coughs> oh yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. I hear yes, you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Roman dolphin. Uh, shark, I think shark is dangerous animals, and uh, dangerous mm. uh, ki killer. Uh, <laughs> this is the first We're... reason. Uh, indifferent. Okay. All right. Okay. Yes. Yes. And um, uh, whale. Uh, I think whale is the biggest uh, animal in the land. In the land. Well, you not. Uh, you wouldn't reason. say on the land on, on Earth. On Earth. Yeah, not on land. I, yeah, yeah. Land not whale. Not land, yes. <laughs> not land. You shouldn't. Not land. We wouldn't. We earth. wouldn't say land on the Earth there or in the world either. Either phrase. In the world. Uh, in the, the world, world or, or on the, Earth. The world yeah. Is the, is the biggest. Uh, yeah, the okay. biggest uh, creations in the world on the mm -hmm. world. In the world, okay. yes. Um, Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So, two di two answers. Two answers. Two answers. Oh my goodness. Uh, in the world. Okay. The phrases are in the world or on Earth. Either one is oh, fine. Yes. Uh, Juan, welcome to the class. When we can say in the land. Um. Well, on land, you can't say a, the whale is the oh biggest God. animal on land because land excludes the ocean. Okay? An elephant, yeah. I believe, is the biggest animal on on land. Or we uh, ca would often say land animal is the biggest land animal. And then... Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Actually, just Mustafa, it's interesting because we can use the phrase in the land, but um, often when we say in the land, we don't mean the whole world, the whole earth. We're talking about like in yeah. our country. 
All right, he's the best singer in the land. The world is official, Lord. In the world is official. Y yeah, and it's everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. When we use the phrase in the land, we're often talking it's about our country. I'm the best singer in the land. What I'm saying is I'm the best singer in my country, yeah. not all the world and not on, you know, rock and earth. <laughs> We use that phrase to mean in our country, so it's quite a bit different. Uh, Juan, welcome to the class. Hey, okay. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. How about you? Good. Real good. <laughs> it's Friday. So, Everything's smooth. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the weekend. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're playing the odd one out game. We've got four words here, Juan. And your job is to figure out which word is different, which it should be removed from the group. And, of course, you need to support your opinion with reasons. So the four words we're looking at now, they're in the chat box here. Human, dolphin, shark, whale. What do you think? Which one is different and why? I'm not very sure about it, but... <laughs> well, I there is no wrong or right stuff. answer. <laughs> there is no wrong or right answer. Actually, the winner is the one with the most unique answer. Okay. No. And Just because I'm obvious. pretty sure I'm going to say something really stupid. I just <laughs> clarified before saying it. Okay, <laughs> all right. Fine. Okay. okay. Uh, the shark. Okay. And why? Uh, why? Okay. Human and dolphins? Definitely. Mammals. Yes. Well, I'm... Um, <laughs> I tend to think... <laughs> okay. They are... Uh, if they are not... I'm not sure if the dolphins are the only mammals on the sea. Okay, uh, you're so tentative. Just, um, I'm gonna give you a, give you an idiom. Go ahead, uh, Juan. Go out on a limb. <laughs> Go for it. The Take whale. a chance. Yeah. The whale has a, a reproductive system and way of uh, reproducing. Um, very similar. To uh, mammals, however, I'm not sure if uh, yeah. they are also yeah. mammals. Go for it. Whales are mammals. They are. They Whales give birth. Are. They give birth to live young, and their young uh, get milk. That's right. They give birth to live young, which is the important thing. Yes, okay. in fact, you are correct. They are. They are. Whales are mammals, definitely. Okay. I'm a hundred percent sure. Great. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> Shark, on the other hand, definitely a fish. Definitely a fish. Definitely. Um, yeah, okay, definitely that's a, a way to categorize these, most certainly. All right. I use the expression when I, with Juan, go out on a limb. That's an idiom. I'm not asking him to climb a tree. I, I, not, it's not literal. It's an idiom or expression which means take a chance. I was urging him... <laughs> <laughs> to take a chance. Uh, uh, Roxana, are you, are you gonna? Yeah, I have idea now. Okay, uh, good. Uh, I think this dolphin is different than yes, yeah, than human, Ooh. shark, and whale. Why? Uh, be, because uh, every every words have um, a human, shark, and whale. Dolphin ah. don't have a... Ah, good one. Excellent. Very nice. I'll give you another one. I'll, I'll, I'll do you one better there, Roxana. Um, I'll say dolphin because human, shark, and whale have five letters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. But I, yes, I say dolphin, but a little bit uh, another reason. 
Oh, I know, because they don't have an A. I know, and that's a good one. Yeah. That's a very unique reason. Again, I don't know how to pick a winner. Who is the winner? <laughs> <laughs> we all had a different idea, but all good ones. Hmm. I don't know how to pick a winner for this one. All right. We're, we're all tied. <laughs> uh, okay. Hmm. Uh, all right. Let's try. Let's get a little more. Let's start. Let's look at some perhaps. Start to get a little, little bit more difficult. Maybe use a little bit more abstract words. All right. Here we go. Our four words of the group: war, flood, drought, plague. Hmm. Tough one. War. Flood, drought, plague. Oh boy, that's that's a tough one, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. Really hard one. Okay. Uh, Anastasia, I'm no, I'm sorry, Roxana. Mhm. Mm uh, you have to go first because you got a, a special secret pass <laughs> last time. <laughs> But I War. don't know what does it mean drought drought flood. drought and plo flood okay. this mean water yes come too much water too many too, too many water flood yes too too much water is a flood you are correct yeah what about and, uh, drought drought is exactly the opposite ah not yeah a, not enough water right uh, but no what water pl plague 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 plague, plague. is uh, a disease. Which spreads as many people. Yes. Well, actually, I should clarify that. Uh, in in the Bible, in the you know Catholic or Christian Bible, the uh, Egypt suffered a plague of frogs, a plague of locusts. So plague usually we normally think about disease, sickness, but mm -hmm. it can mean um, too much of anything which is unhealthy. Uh, I mean like a huge amount, a plague of frogs, there's you know a billion frogs <laughs> suddenly come to your country. That's not going to be healthy for anyone. Okay, but usually plague we consider it to mean um, sickness and disease. Hmm. Oh, okay, uh, it's my idea, I think it's w war. It's different the flow, drought, and plague. Because okay. war, uh, it's uh, people people um, activity. But flood, drought, and plague, this uh, not um, okay. Not people to do. This uh, nature. Right. Okay. A natural activity or. A human or man-made man, yeah, uh, a human activity, okay, or a natural activity. Good one. All yeah. right, that, that's a very good one. It's my opinion. Okay, a good one. That one may, that one may stand up. Uh, Juan, what do you think? Work mm, flat through. That's a good one. Nice, Roxana. Okay. Thank you. This is a tough one because. Mm hmm. It is. If war w wasn't there, uh, I would say drought. Plague could be seen as a. Similar to flood in in the way it uh, causes harm. Now that I just said that, I would yeah, I would take drought outside. Drought. Okay. Drought. Why? Sorry. Drought. Okay. Why? Um, because war, flood, and plague are similar in the way uh, they cause harm. Okay. Or are used normally um, for referring 
or in actions, occasions, where harm in general is uh, undergoing or uh, okay. All right, like physical harm. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Because drought causes, you know, drought can kill people too. No food. Yeah, I just realized that. Yeah. Yeah. No. Mm. I mean, mm, I, I don't know. The other ones, there is maybe an element of physical. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I don't know. I've never starved to death, so I don't know how painful it is. <laughs> I would have to experience it first. Okay. Mustafa, what, what do you think? You have any uh, ideas think, about this group? Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. War uh, is uh, killing face-to-face -face man, uh, mm -hmm. facing man. Uh, yeah. Flo drew a, bl a blog uh, come from the God. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't uh, you can't stop it uh, uh, you can stop it by by, by yourself uh, you have something to stop it you have to do something to stop it and blog uh, blog is the blog blog what which one plague. 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 Plague, yeah. uh, plague. Is plague. Plague. plague uh, is a disease. Uh, uh -huh. You can uh, use uh, a drug uh, to avoid it. Without okay. To avoid it. All right. The second reason. And, okay. Um, okay. So which one is different? Nothing. <laughs> Uh, Bleak and uh, Bleak uh, have Blig. a reason and uh, okay. War have a reason. Okay, all right. All right, I, okay. Plague, you can use medicine uh, or you can fight it. You can cure it. Medicine? Mm. Medicine, yeah. Medicine. To avoid it. No, okay, I see. Okay, uh, Ruben. I think flu, drought, and plague are related uh, with the ground and war not flood and drought and plague are related to the ground mm -hmm. okay mm. maybe all right uh, very kind of vague reasons are you guys on this one this is a hard one right difficult um, I, very similar to Mustafa, and maybe I'm saying the same reason. Mustafa, you can help me here. Let me explain my thinking. It, my thinking actually is that uh, w war, humans can prevent war. Humans can prevent plague, plague by using medicines. Flood and drought. Now... Floods, while they cannot be con entirely prevented, we can actually prevent loss of life and um, we can actually make them less devastating. Humans can. It's, it's possible. Drought, if, it's, if there's no rain and there's a drought, I don't really know what humans can do about it. Not a whole lot. They can move, I guess they can move water, so maybe... Not possible, but if a drought's in a big enough area, there's really very little people can do. Hmm, maybe not a good reason, but I don't know. Many okay. people live in Sahara. It's no problem. Too many Sahari? people live in Sahara. Yes. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> uh, no, them. some <laughs> Bedouin, Bedouin in, uh, live in Sahara. It's... Yeah, okay. Uh, Mustafa, what, what did you want to say? Yeah, I have another reason. Uh, plague, uh, uh, war, and the flood, and uh, 
and uh, do drought. Uh, you can uh, what? Drought. Do drought. Sorry, Better. drought. Yeah. Uh, you can uh, you can f uh, have a sense. You can see it. Uh, you can feel it. But draw you cannot uh, see. You a can drought. See, uh, you can uh. see blog, blog. Mm, okay, that's a, another possible reason. But you can kind of see all the dead plants in the field and know there's a drought. Drought. Ah. This is a really hard one. I okay, <laughs> really hard one, and I I don't know. We I think there's are arguments for my reason and all the guys. I I think, frankly, I think uh, Roxana walks away with this one. First is the only one that's impossible to really argue because yeah. she said war is man-made and the others are natural, and that's really that's basically what can you say? That's pretty much true. That was a really hard one. Okay, we're get, we're just gonna get harder and harder. So, so, sorry, Oakley, you don't have any right answer in your book. There is no right, wrong, or right answer. So I, there's no answer key because there, it's all up to our own opinions. There's no. Oh. The point is to have the most creative answer. There's no wrong or right answer. No, I'm making up things just as much as you guys are. <laughs> there's no right or wrong answer. It's it. <laughs> just who can be more creative in their answer really and but still be hard to argue with their reasoning but still very creative that's that's the idea we're just stretching our mental muscles okay here's our next one we're, we're going to keep keep trying difficult ones here our list doctor psychologist priest and poet hmm Doctor, psychologist, priest, and poet. Okay, we we'll stop. Oh, actually, I'm Juan. You haven't gone first yet, so I'll give you the honor. Doctor, mm -hmm. psychologist, priest, priest, and poet. Hmm. Whoops, I misspelled psychologist. Sorry about that. Poet? The pronounce of uh, uh, poet is right? Poet. Pronunciation? Yes, that's correct. Poet. Very good. Yes. Poet. 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 I'm a poet and poet. I know it. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Poet and it. I'm going to uh, take out say doctor. All right, you'd like to remove doctor. All right, why? Okay, psychologist, priest, and poet uh, are professions. I don't know if you can call a, a priest or a poet as a, a profession, but uh, profession activities. Uh, that relate uh, entirely with uh, emotions, with uh, ah okay, with the I don't know if in English you say because in Spanish translated as my dictionary type is uh, that that I do is uh, letters the in hmm? the field the field about uh, everything that involves. Uh, Literature, or no, I don't know how to. Literature. Well, okay, they're they're all okay. They're all involved. I don't know if you, if it is. Uh, well, I'm going to, out of on the limb. Social mm -hmm. sciences. Social sciences. There you go. No, that was much better. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Oh, very good. That's thank you. Very and. Good. Okay, and doctor mm -hmm. is a, well a science, but um, the other type of science uh, not social science, you, not right. social science and science, and it's more concise. Right. It's physical more with the physical, yes. Hmm. Okay. All right. That's that's a pretty good one. All right. 
going to be hard to beat. All right. Mustafa, what is your yes. idea? What do you think? I think the difference is uh, <clears throat> uh, pot. Oh, okay. And, and why is yeah. that? Uh, doctor and uh, psychologist and uh, priest uh, give advice uh, to someone uh, to help uh, to help him uh, to be good uh, to be better doctor in uh, in uh, clinic uh, doctor in uh, medicine mm -hmm. uh, psychology and uh, in physical breast in uh, Pressed in godness, or I don't know. <laughs> the spiritual. Spiritual, yes. Yeah, spiritual. So you could say spiritual uh, spiritual. help to help other people in spiritual. Ah, spiritual, not spiritual. Spiritual. I keep spiritual. misspelling things. Spiritual. There it's we go. Come from spirit. Yes. From spirit. That's right. Same root word. Spirit. The spirit. The soul. Yeah. The spirit like that. So yeah, a, a priest is an expert in spiritual matters and he helps with the spiritual well-being. He helps people with their spiritual well-being. It's another way we can say uh, that, okay, a doctor helps with physical well-being, psychologist with mental well-being, and a priest with spiritual well-being. It's another way to say it. It helps people well-being. Uh, another, uh, another reason Ah, okay. uh, doctor uh, is different. Uh, psychologist, uh, priest, both have P. Doctor have ah, ah, you you got my reason. Ah, yeah. <laughs> very good. Okay, Ruben, they uh, they've taken up the good reasons. I don't know, uh, Ruben. What is your thinking here? Which should be removed? I th I think uh, priest. Priest. Okay. Because the other words uh, have O and priest don't have any O. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Another good one. Oh, I didn't see O. Ah, there's no O in priest. Ooh, very, ooh, oh. Very good. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, R Roxana, wh what do you think? Wow. You get all the... uh, I don't have a new idea, but I think it's poet. I agree with uh, Mustafa. Mm -hmm. uh, doctor and psych psychologist priest uh, to um, help people feel better but poet only only what poet to do only <laughs> <laughs> sorry only what poet to do he makes poems I, I don't know yeah a poet I don't know he it's it's like being a writer you know an author somebody who yes. writes but if people write about feel, anything. But if it, uh, people feel bad, go to doctor or psychologist mm -hmm. or priest. Not go to poet. I think if <laughs> <laughs> if uh, people have bad with health or maybe mm. with mind or maybe with soul, but right. Okay. Uh, poet, uh, I think not help too much to people. <laughs> But no. uh, maybe some poet maybe help. Yes, maybe mm. help. But not maybe. really. Right. Maybe not actively, but passively. Yeah. You might yeah. read a poet's works and it may influence your life or make you feel better. Oh, sure. It's possible. There is an argument there that poets can help people. Um, I have another reason which I'm I not sure. If... Oh, you do? <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Mustafa. Uh, uh, Pot uh, also have another reason. Uh, pot is, is uh, someone can uh, write uh, everything from his opinion. 
uh, but doctors, psychologists uh, pressed uh, his or her information uh, comes from uh, everything and uh, to uh, collect information from anything to uh, give uh, better information uh, to help the others. Mm -hmm. Okay, very similar to what I was just going to say. Uh, <laughs> although I'm not sure if I'm right or wrong. I, I, I know a doctor and psychologist has to go to university. You can't be a doctor if you don't get a degree. Yeah. A pretend doctor, a scary doctor, but not a real doctor. <laughs> I think in order to be a priest, at least a Catholic priest, I, I don't know about other religions. I, I'm not sure. You have to get a, you have to go to seminary school and you have to graduate. So in other words, you have to graduate universities. Um, I don't think a poet necessarily has to graduate even elementary school. <laughs> the the other doctors, psychologists, priests, they have to go to schools of higher learning, university, which is very similar to what Mustafa said. They have to have a lot of knowledge that people discovered before in order to do their jobs. Pretty much we're saying the same thing, I think. Different ways, but same idea. Right. Poets, oh, and Juan has a third reason. Poets help with conquering ladies. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly. Uh, hmm. Please uh, uh, tell me the pronounce of uh, poem. Poem is right, correct? Poem is correct. Pronunciation. Correct. That's good. Poem, yes. poem. A, po poem, a poem. poet writes a poem. poem. It, it is a kind of a weird word. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, who won that one? Boy, I don't know. More good answers. Hmm. All right, we're going to try... A... I like the, the last one. You did? But yeah, mine uh, or it... Mustafa's? Uh, both. Oh. Uh, Mustafa's and yours. Okay, uh, we'll give it to Mustafa. Plus, Mustafa had like three different answers just by volume alone. All right, Mustafa, you win that round. Okay, hang on. Here's a tough one. You guys may uh, may need Please, some help. For me? You, oh, I, I'm saying you won. You're the winner of the last round. Yeah. We've tied like yeah. six times, but I think Roxana won one round and you won another one. Yeah. Um, okay, our next round. This is going to be a little bit difficult here, people, because the, maybe the, uh, the words are a little tough. Archaeologist, sociologist... Historian, paleontologist. Ooh, tough vocab. Archaeologist, sociologist, historian, paleontologist. First of all, I guess we have to know what these words all mean. Um, okay. Uh, what does an archaeologist do? Anybody? Does anybody know? Archaeologist, uh, yeah, to the uh, builder, uh, engineer. What again? Archaeologist. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, no, no, uh, treasures. Treasures. Okay, I, when I think of archaeologists, I think automatically of Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah. And the Temple of Doom. <laughs> All right. Well. There you go. Of course, totally glorified and unrealistic, but Indiana Jones was an archaeologist. Very good. They, they got, they're concerned with um, human uh, ruins and uh, civilizations and physical things left by people. Pottery, weapons, jewelry, whatever. Right, yeah. Mustafa, digging stuff up. Okay, sociologists. What does a sociologist do? They, social science. It's the social yeah. science. They study societies. Yeah. Okay, modern or in the past or remote societies in the Amazon jungle, whatever. Um, but society. Historian, okay, they obviously study history. Paleontologist, 
What does a paleontologist do? Roxana, do you know? Dinosaur, you know dinosaur? Dinosaurs, that's uh, right. Oh, sorry, I speak Russian. <laughs> dinosaurs. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's it, right. <coughs> dinosaurs. Uh, basically, yes, ancient life. Fossils, digging up fossils and all that. Okay, well, there you go. That's what they are. Uh, I think I'm back to Ruben. Ruben, okay. tough one. What do you think? Um, I'm going to take historian. Historian, okay. And and why do you choose historian? The only words that don't don't finish with T. <laughs> Ruben, you're, you're taking the okay. The <laughs> only words that don't. W Finish with T, or we would probably commonly say end with T. Oh, all right. All right, he's got a good <laughs> one. Okay, fine. R Roxana, what do you think? Mm, I, I really not understand. Uh, I didn't understand what mean do sociologist. Sociologist? Uh, yeah. They they study how a society works. The um, okay, if I'm going to study. Kazakhstan society, I might study um, economics, agriculture, mm. transportation, culture, how people work together in this society. I could study any many aspects. I could study the economic aspects or, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that sociology has to take into account, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, understand. Okay, I think this means sociologist <laughs> because okay. in arch archaeologist, historian, and paleontologist to do um, work uh, before before what happened. It's sociologist. Yeah, it can be do what now to happened. You're absolutely right. As a sociologist can study present day yes people that's mean uh, I, I yeah. mean yeah we can use the phrase present day uh, present so, day present day whatever present day economy mm -hmm. present day society present day whatever okay yeah you're absolutely correct about that the others it's absolutely necessary there they study history or yeah your ancient things or old things very good. Okay, that's a very good one. Um, Juan, what do you think? It's a tough one. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> good ones have kind of been taken here, really. No. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> well, I'm um, taking out... Uh, So, so, sociologist. Okay. Well, why? Okay. Uh, they refer to they're more concrete on no concrete now the they analyze. They give a uh, an analysis of an opinion about okay. the history of a uh, society or the actual uh, status of a society. Uh, uh, historians, paleontologists, and archaeologists, they emphasize mo more in the research uh, of the facts. Facts. Fact-finding. Fact-finding, yeah. You, maybe you could say, yeah. Yeah, okay. Like. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right. That's pretty good. Uh, Mustafa, we we've only got seconds. What what is your idea? In my idea uh, is uh, <coughs> the different word is uh, historian uh, okay. because the uh, archaeologist, archaeologist, sociologist, and the uh, pilon. Philonotologist, 
are uh, uh, end with uh, largest uh, and largest mean uh, something uh, talk about talk about, talk about the uh, science uh, no science uh, logic something uh, logic yeah the logic of that subject yeah you're you're right it's a suffix or ending of the word that means study of the logic logic of knowledge, that about knowledge. particular yeah. knowledge of that science right logic and knowledge yeah. that's right yeah. um oh well that's absolutely true okay uh that's pretty good and hmm that was actually mustafa i'm going to make you the big winner today cuz that was actually very good because you noticed the suffix had a root, which is very important in English, actually. Recognizing that there are uh, suffixes with the same end uh, suffixes, same suffix endings indicate that things belong in a group. They have something in common. And that's actually a very important thing to know in English. Okay, guys, I have a class like right now in Verbling. I'm already a minute late, so I got to go. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you for an interesting much. lesson. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Okay. To see you guys again Bye. real soon. Okay.